Well, I grew up in, in Montana as a small ranch. It was great. I mean, I had a great childhood. I always liked art when I was a little kid. I was not really encouraged as a child because I had a lot, a lot of work to do. Uh, but I was kind of, I'd sneak around the dark, you know, and draw. And I used to do little clay things and never took it seriously, just enjoyed it. You know, scribbled on my books in school and got yelled at for doing that. And there's no way that I was ever going to make a living at it. You know, you're supposed to be pilots, lawyers, or doctors or something like that. The first piece that I really remember doing of sculpture was actually a stone carving. I found a piece of soapstone and uh, it was very primitive, but I, I carved a, uh, a buffalo bison and gave it to my mother. I have a, a real love and passion for all animals, uh, horses mostly. I can't remember not being around horses. I broke horses and trained horses and shot horses for money. You know, I think you're, you always tend to do things that interest you the most. And horses and ranches, it's always been in my life. When you're sculpting wildlife, I don't think you can replicate nature. You have to put your own slant on it because Mother Nature did it best. We're just going to interpret it. Sculpting is three-dimensional, of course. So there's some engineering that goes into the armature making, uh, the material, trying to find out whether you want to work loose or tight. That depends on the subject matter and the material and how you're going to work that material. The West has changed just in my lifetime. It's just dramatically changing. Now you see a cowboy with a computer rather than the little black tally book we used to always carry. Maybe you'll see them in pickup instead of on a saddle horse. Thank goodness there are a few old ranches that are still trying to maintain the Western way of life, quote unquote. Someone needs to preserve that. I think it's important.